Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carvo Gaming and another PAL World video. Well, today I have a really cool one for you. I'm going to show you how you can get these amazing schematics. I'm talking about handguns, assault weapons. You can even get legendaries as well. And I'm going to show you what I do and how I got these amazing items. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, the way we are going about doing this is pretty cool. What I first want you to do is go into your world setting before you start and change your daytime speed, nighttime speed to five. Now, what this is gonna do is make your world go from day and night cycle in less than five minutes, which means when we go after these chests that we're gonna be forming, they're going to spawn in a whole lot faster. And that is how we're going to get these amazing items. We're going to go from Sanctuary 1 to Sanctuary 2 to Sanctuary 3 and then to this last spot where we're going to get four chests that is going to spawn in. In between all of these, you're going to get yourself some amazing items. I'm still on the hunt for my first legendary, but they can drop from here. In between farming the bosses and doing this, I got some amazing items. Now down below, I'm going to leave a link. This is a IGN PAL World Interactive Map. All right, now I'm using this. I'm gonna filter out everything except for the chest. These are where the chest can be located in Sanctuary One. Even though they can be randomly spawned, these are pretty much on point where these chests are gonna spawn in, the amount of chests as well. So here we are in Sanctuary One, and we're gonna go after some of these chests and show off some of the items that we get. Now inside here, you gonna get some freaking amazing stuff. I'm just saying, you can get it regular weapon schematics all the way up to even legendary like i said i'm still on the hunt to get my first legendary and uh yeah so i'm gonna be doing this and in the meantime i wanted to show you what i was doing so you can get out there and get some good stuff too all right now you can do this early in the game you can do this mid game late game doesn't matter all right we're in wildlife sanctuary at number one now, if you do come over here at night, a lot of these pals are going to be sleeping, enemies are going to be asleep. Makes it super easy, but it's a little bit harder to find the chest, in my opinion. But they do light up, so, you know, a little bit of help right there. And these are some of the items that I got just from doing this one run. Now, I've got a ton of items, a whole bunch of duplicates as well. Here we are at the second sanctuary and over here of course there's going to be a ton of these chests they got golden chests they got the purple chests just over here and then i'm going to go over to sanctuary three but first off here is where all the chests can be located at sanctuary two now let's get our farm on in sanctuary two and sanctuary three is where i found some of the better stuff as far as weapon schematics and armor schematics is concerned so fyi this is where i found a whole bunch of good stuff even though sanctuary one still have some really cool items i got a whole lot more accessories from sanctuary one in sanctuary two and in sanctuary three i found a lot of higher level schematics as far as weapons and armor is concerned so let's do this on the bottom there's going to be a series of three different chests and then up top there's going to be two and then up on top of the second level is one more level where there's going to be one chest all right and then on the outskirts there are going to be a whole bunch of chests laid out around the water and occasionally there are stuck in the rocks some chests and i'll show you that as well can be very sneaky where these can be and these can get you some amazing items like i said including legendary which is cool here are some of the items that i picked up in sanctuary too pretty freaking cool including that handgun which was a purple rarity and it's definitely going to boost up my damage so ggs right there here we are at sanctuary number three and here are where the chest can be located now remember you still got that interactive map so like i said previously i'll leave a link down below so you can pull up that map, filter through it, and then check out where all the chests are gonna be located. And when you get your farm home, have that map up on your computer so you can easily see where they're at and then just come over here and do it. Now, once you start doing this, 
uh, you'll start to get used to where these chests can spawn at and then you really won't need that map but I'm gonna leave that down below just in case uh, somebody uh, need that help so here we are sanctuary number three and we're gonna be picking up these lovely lovely schematics and that's what it really is about I'm trying to hunt some legendaries but I'll take whatever the game gives me it's all RNG right so we want to go ahead and pick up those chests from the bottom we picked up those chests from in the water and we are going to pick up these chests up here in the mid and then up at the top all right so ggs my dude that is sanctuary one sanctuary two and a sanctuary number three now remember i told you about those chests that can be kind of hard to find hidden in the rocks i mean here's one of them i just wanted to show you that there are chests in very weird locations you just gotta find them all right now we're headed to the really cool location over here by ice weasel hero where i found a nice location where four chests can spawn in so my formula, I go from Sanctuary 1, Sanctuary 2, to Sanctuary 3, and then I come over here. And by that time, the world has cycled through day and night about three times already. So I can just do this forming loop and just do it all over again, and all of these chests will be spawned back in, which is pretty cool. Just need your world settings to be set up like that. All right. Now come over here to this location that I showed you, you're going to spawn in and then just hang a left and over here at this tower is going to be some random chests. For the first time, I got a golden chest, which is awesome. If you need a golden key, you can absolutely farm these by taking out the black market tier and you can get golden key from him after you kill him. So stock up on some golden keys if you want to have some golden keys and uh, yeah. Yeah, you get your form on my dude i really haven't seen any chest over here for copper or silver keys just the purple ones the the gold chest and then the chest with the keys that you need for the gold so that is what i've seen over here so far when i've been farming but yeah over here can be four different chests that can spawn in and they're pretty pretty freaking rewardful you know what i mean so between Sanctuary 1, Sanctuary 2, and Sanctuary 3, and this spot that I showed you, you can get yourself some amazing items. You can do this early on as well. And last but not least, you can always come into the dungeons. Higher level dungeons will give you better rewards, and there is this cheeky little way where you can uh, just run right past all the enemies inside of a dungeon, and you can use this cool little glitch where as long as you have a pal that you can ride and you have a craftable seat for them, you could just come over here towards the end, run past all the enemies in the dungeon, and at a nice little angle, you can toss your pal inside past the barrier and then just hit X to ride them and you'll pop in on the other side and you can get these chests as well. So boom, there you have it. That is how I have been farming, trying to get my legendaries. And I got some pretty freaking amazing items on the way. Last but not least, before I get out of here, for anybody that want to know how you craft these, you will need that schematic on you in your inventory. And then you need to come over here and craft it, depending on if you are crafting a weapon, you need a weapon workbench number two, so forth and so on. So get after it, my dude. Have some fun farming. And uh, yeah, get yourselves these amazing schematics today. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.